Okay, so here's what I've got um, so far, at the end of the week. Right now, if um, you go to options, everything's still the same. And if we go to meter, you can see I've moved the um, rate and the gallons over to the right. And I also changed this to water instead of total, so it's pretty clear what it's measuring. Um, and it's just kind of just to see that the, the data in a better form. If I go to dose, there's a lot of things that I've changed. Um, you can see that it'll, the top bar is the same. Uh, just gives you your present value and everything. I've refined the motor control quite a bit. It's working um, a lot better and a lot smoother now. Um, right now it's trying to get to 120 to 1. Let me go ahead and just reset my total so you can see um, how smooth it runs. So now it's at 120 to 1. It's not overshooting at all. It's running fairly regular. Um, yeah, there is a little bit of a up and down, but it's um, at the cost of accuracy, so it goes. It's very, very accurate. Um, right now, if you were to pull out the um, the water meter oscillator or water oscillator, you see that it stops right at 120 to one. And it'll do this no matter what speed you're pumping um, and what ratio you're using. So. Um, otherwise, I have um, also moved all the data over to the right on this screen. It just looks nicer that way. And now I've got um, a new page. So you can see I put a little arrow, up arrow on the right, and on the first page, and up ar or a down arrow on the right. So you can change um, the parts per million, and this is tied to the ratio. So if I change this 8333, well, let me change the ratio here. If I go to 125 to 1, and then I go back to PPM, you can see now it's at 8,000 PPM. So those are tied together, they affect the same variable, just they're the reciprocal of each other. Um, overriding the PPM or ratio is output adjust. So if I go up 10%, um, it puts 10% more product in. So, um, and you can go up to 100, so you can basically double the product with output adjust. And you can go down to negative 99%. You can't go to a negative 100% because that would be putting zero product in. So you might as well just stop dosing if that were the case. Um, also, you can see the product total. Um, I have three um, points after the decimal for you. Um, I figure that's accurate enough. Um, and then you can that'll show in um, liters or milliliters if you've got it in um, the liters mode, the units in liters. So. I think that's about it. Um, I did a lot of debugging. Um, I've still got a lot to do. Um, I need to get a better key repeat routine in. Um, right now I don't have anything enabled for repeating. It just um, goes at one one value per repeat. So that shouldn't be too hard though. Um, I also fixed up the prime routine so it, it doesn't um, pop off the prime screen after the first button key press and it does about a medium speed of when you're priming. Um, and it also doesn't count the product while you're priming. I know that was an issue as well. So um, I think that's it. And um, I'll, I'll tell you the issues with the real-time clock and the email. So um, Oh, all these values, I forgot to mention, all the uh, rate and um, you know total product, total water, those all get stored in EEPROM now. Um, it actually happens every time this little bar goes to the top of the loop, so it's like every 17 cycles of the dose menu. It updates all the data in the EEPROM, so it's pretty much every couple seconds. So if the power were to go out and then come back on, it would remember almost exactly where it was before. Okay, so I think that's it.